Entertainers spend a lot of time on the road and away from home. And sometimes, in the quest for comfort, actors demand some outlandish stuff to make the journey feel more homey. Oh, you like it when I'm bossy! But occasionally, there's something else behind the drama. Here are Screen Rant's 10 famous actors who were extremely high maintenance on set. Tom Cruise Tom Cruise has headlined some of the most successful movies in history. And while films like Jerry Maguire and A Few Good Men gave him a chance to show his acting chops, his career choices have mostly revolved around action. In fact, he's one of the only people in Hollywood who performs the majority of his own stunts. How does he do it? With a thong. Apparently, the actor has been wearing custom thongs under his wardrobe for years, and the wardrobe department of every movie he works on has to have about 50 of the undergarments on hand at all times. But who are we to judge anyone's choice of underpants? The actor cites their flexibility and comfort as reasons for wearing them, but we know he was probably just trying to avoid those unsightly panty lines. Lindsay Lohan Since the age of three, Lindsay Lohan has been in and out of the spotlight, modeling, singing, and acting. Her big break came after starring in the 1998 remake of The Parent Trap. But going from Disney to DUI, Lindsay Lohan became a punchline soon after she hit her peak with 2004's Mean Girls. Following a string of public embarrassments, the actress was hired by director Paul Schrader for his 2013 film The Canyons. Lohan was actually fired from the production before it even began, but was rehired thanks to a 90-minute drunken tantrum she threw outside the director's hotel room. Failing to show up for rehearsals, refusing to change her makeup, and reckless drinking jeopardized the entire shoot. Plus, her $600 sushi lunches put an extra strain on an already low budget. George Clooney When you're as bankable as George Clooney, there's not much people won't do to make sure you're happy on set. The Kentucky native has been in the biz for over three decades and has made quite a name for himself. And while he's generally regarded as a pretty down-to-earth guy, he apparently had a few grand requests while filming the 2013 smash Gravity. It seems the actor wanted to make his trailer a bit more home and requested a custom beach hut, basketball court, and hot tub within close proximity to his quarters. A lofty price to pay considering his limited screen time in the film. Marlon Brando Marlon Brando is one of the greats, and depending on who you ask, he might be THE great. A Hollywood heavy hitter, The Godfather appeared in more than 40 movies, and despite his passing in 2004, he remains a household name to this day. But nearing the end of his career, the actor quickly lost his passion for the job. Brando was notoriously difficult to work with on 1979's Apocalypse Now, but director John Frankenheimer experienced the worst of it while making The Island of Dr. Moreau. Brando showed up with an ice bucket on his head and refused to take it off. He also insisted that a dwarf appear in every one of his scenes. And in a move that would impress any fifth grader, he even had his doctor write a note proclaiming that Brando was allergic to Frankenheimer. Classy. Jennifer Aniston Filmmaking's a team sport, but Jennifer Aniston insists on remaining solo. Stories from previous productions paint the actress as standoffish, saying that when everyone else was eating lunch together, Aniston took off to her private trailer and refused to speak to the crew. She wouldn't ride in the production vehicles either, and required her own personal SUV and driver to shuttle her around the set. Other reports have surfaced claiming that whenever the actress snaps her fingers, one of her underlings will run to ice her forehead so she doesn't get too hot. It's one person's job to follow Aniston with a fan so she's temper controlled, like a fridge. Jack Nicholson Jack Nicholson's been a cinematic fixture since the 60s, and one of only two actors to be nominated for an Academy Award every decade since he started working. And those bragging rights mean that the actor gets away with some questionable behavior. While working on the Martin Scorsese directed The Departed in 2006, he decided to go off script. Since Scorsese has tons of experience working with moody artistic types, he's seen it all before. Nicholson was adamant about including a scene where his character snorts coke off an actress's backside. And the ideas didn't stop there. The actor was apparently passionate about including a sex toy in the scene for no reason, other than that it amused him. Obviously, the director was cool with the suggestions, as both made it into the final cut of the film. Will Smith Ever since the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air moved to Hollywood, he's been making headlines. And while some people argue that Will Smith hasn't done a good movie since 2006, 2012's Men in Black 3 made a lot of the franchise's fans ecstatic. But during production, some citizens of New York felt eclipsed by the actor's presence. Despite his home being only a few blocks away, Smith insisted on staying in a double-decker trailer. Allegedly, it was so tall that it turned a normally sunny community into a patch of shape and blocked out the sun for the entirety of filming. Jennifer Lopez Everyone has a favorite color and Jennifer Lopez's is white. Apparently, the dancer turned actress turned singer turned actress likes everything in her dressing room to be pristine white. Furniture, drapes, candles, you name it, white. Reports have surfaced that Lopez doesn't like eye contact either and only speaks through her entourage. Jenny from the block doesn't forget about her friends though and in addition to her salary, demands private planes and rooms for her entire team of handlers. Apparently, the diva attitude isn't even new and stories of her antics go all the way back to her time as a dancer on In Living Color. 
Wesley Snipes According to Pat Oswalt, the making of Blade Trinity was a gong show, and Wesley Snipes was the reason. The relationship between Snipes and director David Goyer turned volatile almost instantly, and the two men came to blows. After Goyer hired some badass-looking dudes to come to set one day, Snipes holed up in his trailer and would only communicate via post-it notes that he signed with his character's name. Oswalt mentioned how Snipes felt slighted in the paycheck department and would smoke pot in his trailer all day as retaliation. Merging only for close-ups, the majority of the actor's slack was picked up by his body double and co-star Ryan Reynolds, who apparently got most of his character's lines thanks to Snipes' bad attitude, and the final movie might actually be better for it. Jared Leto Jared Leto fancies himself a method actor, which is usually all well and good until the character he's tasked to play is a violent green-haired psychopath. On the set of the upcoming Suicide Squad, the actor fully immersed himself in the role. He's almost unrecognizable as the Joker, so much so that his castmates have admitted to being freaked out by his mere presence. Will Smith has even stated that he's never met the Jared Leto underneath the costume, only the Joker. His co-stars were even afraid of him. Sending gifts of dead animals, used condoms, and sex toys to his peers didn't make him any friends either. So what do you think of our list? Do you know of any other actors who are extremely high maintenance on set? Tell us about them in the comments below, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this one.